Hey everybody, it's Sharon here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in the curtain call update for Dead by Daylight going for the Adept Clown Achievement. This one is going to be done from the killer side. It is to get a Merciless Killer rating as the clown only using his three unique perks. You are going to need the clown for this, so make sure you grab him from the DLC pack or from the in-game store. You also need to make sure you get him to a minimum of level 10 in order to open up three perk slots. The perks you want to equip and only equip are going to be Bamboozle. Then you are going to want this one. It's going to be Call Row Phobia. And then and the last one is going to be Pop Goes the Weasel. Make sure you leave the fourth slot empty if you have that available to you and you can do whatever you want for add-ons or offerings. Make sure you get into the game and your goal is to try to go for the Merciless. Thankfully, the clown is going to be a very simple killer to learn how to play with. In addition to his normal attack, you're going to have his special attack in the form of your bottles. You're going to start out with four throwable bottles, and you have two types of bottles. Personally, I'm going to recommend you just stick to the default bottle, which is going to be the pink ones. So make sure you don't hit left bumper to switch over to the green ones, as they are going to slow you down quite a bit. So what you want to do basically is once you find a survivor, you can throw the bottle using left trigger and it's going to release this cloud. If they either get hit by the bottle or get hit by the cloud, they're going to be slowed down and they are going to have their vision impaired slightly. So the bottles aren't going to be super useful as they aren't going to do any damage. You are more or less going to use them as a pressure tool to pressure survivors into spots where they don't want to be. And then make sure you just stick to your good old Dead by Daylight fundamentals in order to damage and down them. And that's going to be the name of the game with the clown. Unfortunately, that's going to be pretty much it to the clown. He has no other complexities to him. So you are going to have to have a strong foundation in Dead by Daylight fundamentals to get the most out of him. That being said, this build is going to also have some pretty useful perks. His first notable one is going to be Pop Goes the Weasel, which is going to allow you to deal extra damage to the first generator kick immediately after hooking someone. So after you hook someone, make sure you try to find a generator and kick it, and then you should be able to get more out of the kick. As for your typical chase situations, make sure you don't hesitate to be trigger happy with the bottles. The reload time on them is going to be pretty fast and you don't have to do anything special to get more bottles other than just hit the reload button. So you don't have to go search for more bottles, say like the Huntress's hatchets, for example. That brings us to the clown's second useful perk, which is going to be Bamboozled. He is able to vault faster, so if you get into a situation where your options are to do a straight vault or to go around, you can save a bunch of time if you just go for the vault, so make sure you do do that. But of course, if it's better to just go around, make sure you do that instead. You can only vault over windows, though. You still can't vault over pallets, so make sure you do keep that in mind. Really good for anyone who's trying to shack loop you. As for his last perk with this build, you aren't really going to notice it, however it is going to be very helpful in the background, and it's pretty much going to make it so any survivor within your terror radius is going to have a way slower healing speed. So that's going to be more incentive to try to keep the survivors injured, but again, you aren't really going to force this perk, you are more or less going to notice it in the background. So make sure you do take advantage of that, and then just keep on the pressure game with those bottles, and keep trying to go for those normal hits. Remember, everything that goes into a Merciless Killer rating, you need to make sure you spread your hits, downs, and hooks across all four survivors, and try to get as many as you can on everyone, and then do it in a timely manner before the game ends and they get the exit gates open. So hopefully you do have that strong foundation in Dead by Daylight Fundamentals as you aren't really going to get much more out of the clown. He is going to be a very basic killer. But if you do manage to knock out enough points in all four of those major killer statistic categories, you should be good for the Merciless Killer at the end of the game. Of course, you can always check your stats on the results screen by hitting right bumper. And then once you get that plus two, you should be good for the achievement. 20 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.